On January 20th, 2017, a new president will take the oath of office. It is one of the most quintessential American moments, the peaceful transition of leadership in the world's most powerful democracy. It is a period of anticipation and expectation, but it is also a period fraught with tension, uncertainty, and a sense of vulnerability as the old team passes the baton to the new, often with some foreboding. History tells us that most presidents inherit active conflicts and crises that do not slow down, nor wait for the next administration to come up to speed. The importance of the transition is no mystery to foreign governments, including hostile ones. Thus, there is no honeymoon period for foreign policy. How well the next president-elect and his or her team make use of the transition period to prepare for their first months in office can be a crucial determinant of how successful an administration can be and how allies, partners, and adversaries view the United States during a critically important period. I think the president-elect is going to be most focused on, on people. Uh, you know, people are often policy and key positions like Secretary of State, Defense, National Security Advisor, these will drive the, the nature, the character, the behavior of their administration. And I think uh, senior, you know, presidents-elect understand that. The first few months of a new presidency generate significant political and institutional momentum, either for a president's core national security priorities or against them. Selecting an effective group of national security leaders to drive the administration's agenda is critical. But with dozens of positions to fill and an increasingly lengthy confirmation process, the placement and confirmation of a new team can take months. To give an example, key posts related to intelligence and homeland security remained unfilled in the summer of 2001, just before 9-11. It is so important for the incoming national security team to have a shared sense of purpose, to get broad strategic level guidance from the president-elect on key national security issues, and to have a well-developed sense of how both issues and crises will be managed. The transition period is critical to start building that sense of team, to set priorities, and to make sure that you can really hit the ground running without stumbling. Nothing's ever gonna be perfect, and you need to anticipate challenges and even missteps. But as President Eisenhower famously said, and I love this quote, Plans are nothing, but planning is everything. Every hour, a new president and his or her team invests in planning their new agenda, in planning how they're gonna work as a team, is an investment that will accrue dividends, not only for the new administration, but also for the American people.